bodies and he hates I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars. Now you're gonna tell Buggy me? Are you? No, 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 no,
feature like voting, you know, for your favorite dance group and stuff. Um, the thing that is fully filmed in here so far was Hairspray Live about a month, a month and a half ago. If you guys watched that. If you didn't watch it, definitely watch it. Uh, it's about two hours long, should still be on Hulu. Some biggest stars of today, like Ariana Grande and Jennifer Hudson are in it. So uh, definitely watch it, filmed live out here. Uh, yeah, about a month and a half ago. Definitely watch that, especially if you're a fan of the original movie or the Broadway musical or the movie musical that took some pictures out there. So pretty exciting stuff. Right here we've got a tent. This is where we would typically have craft services. They were just here about an hour ago uh, for World of Dance. Contrary to maybe popular belief, actors like to eat all day, every day. You get fun, no wildest dreams. So one last look at our first HD friendly set. Also keep in mind there's nothing inside. We only do the exterior shots out here. These are facades. These are just the fence. And head over to a jungle. It's the original thing. I like films that just take you away from your real life and sweep you up in adventure. Kong literally does that. I mean, you're on board the ship, you're sailing to a lost island, you're encountering monsters and creatures from, you know, prehistoric times. They have a couple of places. So I was thrilled when Universe invited me back to Star Island. It was great to have you along for life. Now, we have created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on. Okay, glasses on, everybody. We're back in Skull Island. most successful film franchise, Fast and the Furious, currently in post-production, the editing phase uh, for Fast 8, The Fate of the Furious, coming to theaters April 14th, and then we've got two more racing into theaters after that, 9 and 10, those are currently in pre-production, the planning phases. We also have some of the vehicles from Jurassic World. Show of hands, how many of you guys saw Jurassic World? Perfect, that's the gyrosphere, that is the actual gyrosphere from the movie. What's missing, besides the brothers? The shell, or the glass. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Nope. Not missing, because it was never there. Now you're like, what? I saw the movie, I saw the glass. I just told you the glass is missing. What are you talking about, Alex? Why are you lying to us? Okay, okay. The glass was later added in post-production using CGI, computer-generated imagery. It was digital glass, because glass is a highly received much easier. In fact, if you are a big Jurassic Park or World fan, Jurassic Park. Yeah. All around.
around us, we're going to get a look at some of the actual sets and props from the original Jurassic Park trilogy. People are looking straight ahead, they're looking at the shot that we're working on. Here you have to take into account that people are looking in all directions. Also, one of the things about oh. this ride, unlike the movies that we're used to working on, there's no cuts because it's one giant shot, this tram. Yeah, the tram. You guys probably noticed that our tram was pulled onto the screen during King Kong made part of the action. Uh, any vehicle on screen is referred to as a picture. We have some of the other stars of the upcoming two Jurassic World movies. They've been here on the lot recently doing some re-auditioning, some callbacks, and I think they just want to welcome you in their own way. Of course, they just want to welcome you in their own way, a little different than how John Hammond does it. I think the message is still clear, right? Now, environmental, if you can give us the weather forecast for the rest of the day, see how it's going to be. Uh, over to you, Al. Hi, everybody. Here's today's forecast for the Universal Backlot. It's going to be sunny and dry at Six Points, Texas. All right. Cool. Oh, All right. Little Europe. Uh -huh. Expect snow and sleet on New York Street. Precipitation for Skull Island, Amity Island, and Isla Nublar. That's your forecast for today. Now here's a look at what's going on in your neck. Uh, yeah, it's raining here. Also a flash flood that certainly makes so much sense. Just that we create rain here in Hollywood. Use this overhead uh, system that'll allow the water to If you're trying to get a picture, video, Snapchat, rain, depending on your angle, you might be able to really hard to do. Because water is clear. So in the movies, they have to add either paint, ink, or get this powdered milk into the water to give it a much more contrasting color. Makes it a little more visible on. Okay, that's more visible. Uh, everyone, good luck. Ah, no deal. is our flash flood effect seen here in the movie Big Fat Liar. Oh. 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 Yeah, we'll see about that. Lady Gaga also used that effect in her <laughs> video. Also filmed this upcoming part of our lot, Six Points, uh, Texas. Uh, Six Points, they filmed a lot of the classic Western stars like The Duke, John Wayne, Jimmy Stewart, Audie Murphy, all the way up to Clint Eastwood. They've all moseyed down these streets. Now, Six Points gets its name because originally there were six different streets here, each with its own sheriff station, saloon, and bank set. So it represents an entire Western town with just one street. It was silent film. They didn't record audio. But we have audio today, so let me just... This town ain't big enough for the both of us, Jimmy Fallon. Well, I ain't going anywhere, Jimmy Fallon. Uh, even Genovia in Princess Diaries 2, a royal engagement that by Shonda Rhimes. As in Scandal and Grey's Anatomy, she wrote Princess Diaries 2. Today, it is dressed as the good place. So, welcome to the afterlife. Don't worry, we're only going to be here temporarily. Let's take a look around. You'll understand why it's called the good place. You've got stuff like infinite light, all chocolate everything, too many flowers, the restaurant, the good place. And they serve one thing, anything you want. Right? Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, that's basic. On this show, the flavors are sensations of your life back on Earth. So you go in, you're gonna order, the day I pass my driver's test. You eat the frozen yogurt, instantly remember that moment of your life back on Earth. So I could definitely watch this show, it was considered the breakout hit of the season. Uh, I watch it myself, it is hilarious, so watch it. Oh, we do have a, a TV show that's actually filming right now, coming up on the left-hand side of the house. It's the TV show Home and Family. It stars Mark Steinis and Debbie Madoff. It's a talk show. Uh, they sometimes use the backyard because of all the rain. I'm assuming they're only filming in the house. So I'm going to have to pop off the microphone as you roll by that. I can't 
man, keep your eyes closed. Uh, coming on into the sound stage. Talked a little bit about stages. They're 98% soundproof, so it should be fine to roll this back up, my volume. Uh, this houses our permanent subway station set. Now, the idea with our sets is we want them to be as realistic as possible. So you'll see there's a track there to the left and one that we're driving on where we can put two subway trains that can enter and exit the stage. It can make it look very realistic. It's also a two-story set. Typically sets are just one floor because we hang on the lights from the so because the stage is so tall. Uh, they decided to build it. of this TV show, Bo, he took our tour one day, just like all you. He was here at Universal Studios with his family, he went on the tour, he went through the earthquake and was so inspired by it, he went home that night and wrote this episode just to use our mechanical What's going on? Another side of six points off to the right hand side against six different streets. You can see the Fiat board here. This wood building used to be a horse stable. Hi. Uh, whenever we needed horses for the equestrian films, we didn't have to go anywhere to get them. They were literally right here on the lot. Uh, we also used to have a zoo. Might have heard me refer to the stage doors as elephant doors. They're called elephant doors because they needed animals like elephants. So dress to fit into the sound stages for these really big elaborate movies in the 20s and 30s. Nicknamed them Elephant Doors. That name stuck all the way to today. Cabot Cove from Murder She Wrote off there to the right hand side. And then off to the left, that yellow house with a green roof. That's Boo Radley's house from To Kill a Mockingbird. Atticus's house, Atticus said uh, the Elf's house used to be next door, uh, but they've since remodeled. The yellow house, clearly facades, but the white house is a practical set, which means they can film inside both downstairs and upstairs. It's practical. So also can see the About a Boy TV series. Uh, it's Rob Zombie's House of Thousand Corpses and where LMFAO party rocked all night in Sorry for Party Rocket. Heading into Colonial Street, this combines all different types of set, facades, practicals, semi-practicals, and shells. Of the street, not as colonial, but as Wisteria Lane from ABC's Desperate Housewives. If there is one thing everyone in suburbia can appreciate, it's a good name. Oh, you got that right, Mary Alice. Mary Alice lived in this right house, this yellow, uh, green house on the right, that was also the Cleaver house, I'll leave it to Beaver Movie, and Flash Gordon's house in Ted 2. You saw Ted 2. Filming of Desperate Housewives. No other production could get in here. For eight years, it was just Wisteria Lane. Since then, tons of commercials have filmed here. Uh, a lot of car commercials like to use this roundabout at the end of the street because they can get every angle of the car without having to move the camera. Pretty easy. The car just drives in a circle. 
It's also been seen in like Toys R Us commercials, uh, Why Him recently with Brian Cranston and James Franco, Live by Nights with an Affleck. So off the right hand side, the purple house, the two story purple house. That is 1313 Mockingbird Lane from the Munsters. That is the original Munster house. Modified so it's a little more modern for productions that would fill their day, but structurally, you can see, it is the Munster house that used the street in its entirety, the whole street. Typically, a show or a movie would use just one set some of the other homes in the background, but of course, that's where Housewives get in into. Uh, sorry, there's a car. Guys, ever filmed here, they used 11 of our sound stages. One of those stages was just for getting all the actors and background actors in and out of their hoop makeup, all the cosmetics. So again, massive production. Uh, now, everyone knows the Who's neighbor right up on Mount Crumpet, the Grinch. Here on the lot, the Who's had another neighbor who was a bit of a psycho. Uh, I didn't realize anybody was gonna be. Yeah. So that is Norman Bates himself right there. Um, okay, well, let's go back inside, so we should be fine out here. Uh, again, the Bates Hotel, the Psycho House on the Hill, the original set from the movie, not from. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, <that's laughs> Hi! Hello! We're just uh, giving a tour of your beautiful property. You're really admiring the upkeep of. Uh -oh. oh! Okay, yeah, we're gonna go! Uh oh! That's all good. We're, we're gonna leave. Uh, no, no, no. Mr. Big Norman. Norman? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we are getting away from him. Now these are common sense from Bates Hotel on 80, produced by us, Universal Television. If you guys watch that, if you don't watch it, watch it. More homework. Next season will be the final. Okay. Uh, will be the final season, and Rihanna. Wow. Oh. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision. You first began to sit down and talk about the world. That thought was the 7.7 down right in a big oh. area. Because it's, it's just something you don't see. Remember what I said, nothing in Hollywood needs to be real, it just needs to look real. This is an exception to that rule. Because what looks more like a real plane than a real plane? So yes, that is an actual Boeing 747. Used to fly for Air China back in the 80s, tore it apart in the middle of the Mojave Desert, purchased for $60,000. I'll let you just think about that for a second. $60,000 for an entire plane, that's not bad. But then, it costs $200,000. Of course, no one's ever gonna say no to Steven Spielberg. Look, this might be more serious than I thought. What just happened? This is a secure line. Who are you? I'll tell you who I am, boy. I'm the reason bad guys use a nightlight. I'm the reason the boogeyman begs his mama to look under his bed. And I'm the reason you just lost control of this whole operation. My name is Special Agent Luke Hobbs of the U.S. Diplomatic Security. He tells as ruthless as they come. And he'll stop at nothing to eliminate his target. Every living soul on this vehicle is in serious danger. Other than that, Okay, big talk. So I guess somebody on board is some person of interest, some witness protection. I don't really know. So we're just going to reroute our tour, head into our closest uh, safe area where we're going to stay safe. This is Sullivan's. More than a truck shop, though, uh, it is a secret party spot for local street racers, uh, drivers on the lot, and tour guides. Wait. You guys want to go to the party? Yeah. yeah, like they're always partying here, probably getting their Friday started a little early. Try to distract you a little bit from this Owen Shaw situation. Uh, what we do need is Roman though, Roman Pierce. You guys see him? Not right now. Uh, he's gonna be here. 
Good time on his FaceTime. I'd be upstairs. Oh. His name is Roman Pierce. Pleased to meet you. My buddy Hobbs asked us to stash you in shark for a while. Mona Lisa on wheel. So did you break it down to them? What's that? They say the bigger the family, the stronger it is. You guys get good out of it. So with that, we are coming close to the end of our tour today, folks. I want to thank you for being here on this rainy day at Universal Studios Hollywood and then coming on down to the tour. Uh, for over now, if you have any questions for me, I'll be standing over to the left as well. Also, be sure to download the official Universal Studios Hollywood app. Uh, you'll get up to the minute park information, show times, wait times. Definitely check on the next show time for special effects. You can take it on board and just enjoy it. Gostaram. I think that's a better way. Photo of the dinosaur. Oh, you'll even share. Oh, he's so nice. Hold on to that. Ah, that's one more photo. Hey guys, do you have fun? Yeah. Cool. All right. Here you are, you're on the left hand side of the river. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you had a great time on the Universal Studios platform. You guys know it's not a great day. Yeah? Promise? I I'm not going to be mad at you for wearing that, that sweatshirt. I promise. Just have fun today. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We've got a lot to see today, huh? right? We've got 45 minutes to do it, and all we need is you. So come down this way, we'll let's get signed, and join us for the back of our tour. And we'll remind you more if you grab a pair of three glasses before boarding the tram. Three glasses available right before you uh, get on board. Touch Bravo. 
<laughs> Main call, please. Oh, easy. I'll say he bravo. Sorry. When you see him, I say he's a little. Tá, onde é o meu? Ai, que legal, múmia. Onde vocês querem ir? Onde é o meu? Tem Transformer, 10 minutos a múmia. Hã? Onde vocês querem? Opa!
Universal, tão bonitinho. Que é a loja que você não gostava, né? Vocês querem, não? Não. Vamos pra lá? Hã? Quer? Essa aqui? Vamos ver? Bye bye.